Many of you related to ways you're hurting your inner child without knowing it. We posted a while ago, which is why we created this video to help those of you who are struggling with embracing your inner child. When you've been hurt in the past and you didn't have the right tools back then to process it, understanding and comforting your inner child breaks the cycle of emotional baggage. It's like patching up old wounds for more peace and self-love, moving you forward. So here are some ways to heal and embrace your inner child. Recognize your inner child. Everyone has an inner child and it's essential to recognize it. Being an adult doesn't mean you have to neglect your inner child. True adulthood hinges on acknowledging, accepting, and taking responsibility for loving and parenting one's inner child. Listening and communicating with your inner child is crucial. So take a moment to sit with yourself and acknowledge your inner child by opening a line of communication. Start with saying hello. It may feel strange initially, but remember, you can only get in touch with your inner child if you're open to exploring that relationship. Your inner child often represents your past. So therapist Kim Eagle says, if you feel doubtful or resistant to the idea of exploring the past, you'll have a harder time beginning the healing process. You have to be the one that takes the first step. Revisit your childhood interests. Ask yourself, what did you enjoy as a kid? Whether it's drawing, reading, or playing board games, if you enjoyed it as a kid, it would surely bring you joy even as an adult. Being in touch with the joys of childhood can be an excellent way of dealing with challenging times. No matter how childish your interests are, they may bring you the joy you crave as an adult. Play is essential for upkeeping a healthy relationship with your inner child, so make time for it, and you may be surprised at how easily you feel. Fill up with fiction. Someday, you'll be old enough to start reading fairy tales again. If reading fairy tales enriched your childhood imagination, pick a book and see where the story takes you. In 2009, a group of researchers measured the effects of yoga, humor, and reading on the stress levels of US students. Their study found that 30 minutes of reading lowered blood pressure, heart rate, and feelings of psychological stress, just as effectively as yoga and humor. You don't need to pick anything difficult. An easy read can go a long way to bring in you peace after a long day. Journal. Children often keep diaries to document their feelings and thoughts. If you stop journaling, why not start again? As a start, you can try to write to your younger self. State the words in your journal and read them aloud. Read the words you wished you would have heard with love, kindness, and compassion. It's essential to hear the words you craved as a child. Go down memory lane. Looking through childhood photo albums is a great way to connect with your inner child. You relive memories and might feel mixed emotions when looking through old photos. If a particular photo brings back bad memories, think about how that situation affected you for the better and molded you into the person you are today instead of discarding it. Photographs can help us accept a situation and give us a fresh perspective on things that happened in the past. If you think it'll give you a fresh perspective, don't be afraid to go down memory lane. Laugh like a maniac. When you hear children laugh, what do you feel? A spark of unexplainable joy? A sense of nostalgia? Believe it or not, it's true. Laughter is some of the best medicine for healing your inner child. Many studies have concluded that when children laugh, it enhances their attention, motivation, perception, memory, and learning. Laughter may help with learning because the dopamine that is released while laughing helps to enhance learning. Next time you're studying or feeling down in the dumps, find something that'll make you laugh. You may find that a good chuckle can turn your mood around entirely. Get messy. Take chances. Make mistakes. Get messy. Kids typically aren't afraid to sing at the top of their lungs and dance like no one's watching. And neither should you. The more you let yourself play, the more you allow yourself to make mistakes. The more you may notice, perfectionism becomes less intense because your inner child is learning there is no right way to do things. Life itself is meant to be messy, so allow yourself to make mistakes and be messy. You could have a lot of fun in the process. A child still lingers inside every adult, so take the time to listen to that child. 
listen and you may learn something new about yourself. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it with your friends. To learn more ways to harness and heal your inner child, check out our other video, Five Signs You Have a Wounded Inner Child, How to Heal. Until next time, remember to hit that subscribe button to keep up to date on our latest videos. Take care and remember that you matter.